Reap also bow today. Seventh verse. Every man according as he purposes in his what? Well, God told me to give what you know according to what's in my heart. If it ain't in my heart, now let me show you something. What if your heart was according to God's word? David said, Thy word, O God, have I hid where? In my heart. Now, what did the word say? The Bible said these words. The liberal soul shall be made fat, right? There is that withholdeth and yet cometh to poverty. But there is that scattereth and yet increase. The Bible said, He that cast his bread upon the waters, it shall return unto him not many days hence if you was in the heart if you were given according to the heart then your heart would tell you he that give it bountifully understand this should be in your heart he said my son attend unto my words and let them not depart from thine eyes but keep them in the midst of thine heart why because as a man thinketh in his heart so is what so if i'm given according to what's in my heart i'm going to give like god would have me to give i'm going to be a liberal giver i'm not going to be stingy because a person serving God that really have God it's impossible for you to have God and be stingy because if you have God he said beloved let us love one another he that loveth is born of God he that loveth not knoweth not God for God is what you understand God is love what is love love is a gift God so loved the world that he what he gave that's what love does love thinks not on the things of itself it's always thinking about somebody else so if you really got God God in your heart. Ain't nobody got to tell you about giving. You're going to want to give. Folk going to have to touch you on the shoulder. Say, wait a minute, hold it. You understand that? But listen, when you really got heart, a good love in your heart, you're going to be giving. You're going to give. It's just, I'm talking about not money. I'm not just talking about money. You're going to be giving whatever you can seem to give. You ever go over them old folks' house years ago and they didn't have no money, but they would be going trying to find a cup of sugar. They would just be looking for, you know, back then, they would just give you a, 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 just a summer a table a cloth for a table. Yeah, how many of y'all remember what I said? Folk just wanted to give. They didn't even want you to leave there. How holy just man, holy just man. I got something for God. You ain't got to give. Them. They come out with an old 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 coffee pot. God, I want you to have it. We didn't had this in the house. Say man, just want you to have something. Come on, yeah. God, I got a couple of biscuits. Uh, they put them in a rag. Back then they didn't have bags. Uh, didn't have alligator bag. Uh, but they're wrap them up in a rag. How many of y'all remember years ago, they wrapped them biscuits up in a rag and just give them to you. Say, folk wanted to give back there because folk had love. Watch. Watch this. When he said, let every man give the seventh verse according as he purposes in his order. So let him give, not grudgingly. Don't be sitting out here. We go with another offer. Uh -uh. Now you can't have that attitude. You can't, uh uh. I don't care if we live 20, you ought to be just exuberant. You ought to be jumping up, clicking your heels. You understand? Uh uh. Don't let him give grudgingly or out of necessity. See, preachers ain't got no business getting a prophesying God going to kill everybody. If y'all don't bring your offer, if God don't bring your uh uh, if you don't bring your offerings, you know, God gonna kill your babies. Uh, you know, I done seen preachers, uh, you understand, get up and prophesy. Man, uh, they may see him prophesying. Y'all done been there and tell him I'm gonna kill you. God gonna bring the destruction upon this nation, uh, upon this city, because uh, y'all won't want to give. No, you can't make a book of give nothing that belongs. They don't belong, you know, that's their money. God didn't kill Ananias and Sapphira because they didn't want to give, He killed them because they lied about what they give. You understand? It had been better for them not to want to even give. Are y'all listening to me? They didn't have to give nothing, but they lied about it. Don't, God ain't going to kill you because you don't want to give, but I'm going to tell you something. You're going to miss some real blessings. You're going to I'm telling you now. What you mean? You're going to miss some real, real blessings. And the Bible played to the class to watch. He said, now, he said, not grudgingly, nor of necessity. Don't give because you're scared. Don't give. See, y'all give it. If I don't give, I ain't going to be able to, I ain't uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. Did you make it? Don't worry about it. If I don't, if I don't pay my bills, good. 
if I don't pay, if I don't uh, give my offering, I'm going to lose my house. That's out of necessity. Uh -uh. If I don't give, amen, a curse going to hit my, no, that's out of necessity. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. A woman should want to, amen, iron her husband's clothes because he going to beat her. You know what I'm She cook his food because he going to cuss her out. She should want to do it out of love. And when she iron out of love, she going to make sure she get every cat eye. She going to make sure she, she put her foot in that stew, the soup, whatever she got. Come on, when that booger step out the house, his collar standing up, and it ain't been to the cleaners that's been in her house. Come on, say, man. It's going to make that booger when he get finished eating. He going to be sitting there. You got to pick him up from the table because you done put your foot in it because you doing it because you love it. I'm talking about every stir is going to... I love this man. Come on, say man. While your iron is closed. Hallelujah. I love him. I love him. You're gonna have a, a crease so sharp in his in his pants if he step up or get close to somebody to get cut. Come on, say man. I'm talking about loving him. I'm talking about loving him. Say man, when you love them, say man. I'm talking about just making it right. Watch this here. Ooh. I'm talking about do it. And listen, don't do it out of necessity. Don't do it grudgingly. Fussing and cussing and murmuring and complaining. I don't like that. I don't want it. You know what? Man, baby, would you give me some money? What, what you need money for? If I'm looking around, you want some money. Baby. What you want some money? Yeah. I just, every time I got just gave you some money last week. I just I put some money in your hand. What, what you do with the money I gave you uh, two months ago? Well, maybe it wasn't but $10. You know? Understand? Wait, 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 wait. Well, here, 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 take it here, here, ten more dollar, baby. I don't want to keep the money. If you got to go through all them chain, all that stuff, keep the money. You understand? I gave me the ten dollars. You all in the living room and make me say them all the time. Look around. I can't have nothing. Just took the money. You'll be right back in there, baby. Here, take your money. Take your money, baby. Take your money. Take your money. Lay down. Calm down. Calm down. You can have it right back. Cause that's out of necessity. That's grudgingly. I don't want it. That's God saying the same thing. If you got to give it to me like that, I don't want it. But the Bible said that God loveth a cheerful giver. I like somebody that's happy when I say often time. Look at this. It ain't got no money. Say, man, I'm talking about my coming to say often time. Broke, 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 broke. If I can't give him no money, I'm going to give him a praise. Amen. All the time come, I'm going to get happy. Say amen. There ain't going to be no funeral time. I'm going to get happy because I'm going to find out something. Woo! I'm going to find out some real stuff up in here. Y'all been a little too sad around Orphan Town. Y'all been a little too sad when it comes to doing stuff. Say amen. A little too sad. Today, today, I'm talking about my ushers is getting ready to get happy. I'm talking about my pastor's aides going to get happy. I'm talking about my cooks in the back going to get happy. I'm talking about my servers is going to get happy. Anybody got anything to do concerning giving? Uh, my sound man gonna be happy because he giving us good sound. Uh, my bass player, my drummer, uh, come on, my soloist. Uh, some of y'all give me and somebody say, uh, would you say? Could I get you to us? Huh? You bookers get mad. Y'all ain't gonna be sitting there. Y'all boys get ready to be get some feeling. Y'all get ready to get some feeling. Y'all get ready to get some feeling. Hallelujah. Y'all get ready to get some feeling. Y'all get ready to step out. Y'all get ready to let folk know if I'm saying trouble don't last all way. You get ready to see a smile on my face. You looking at me because I'm not just saying I believe this thing. Trouble ain't going to last all ways. Come on, say, man. Everybody in here today that got anything to do with giving, you get ready to get happy. They called me from overseas and said, who did that website? People getting blessed. Say amen. Way over in another country. Over in another country. Lift your hand and say, happy to give. It ain't no strain with me because I know my giving, my living is not in vain. Look at your neighbor and point your finger at him and say, you might be working for a living. But after the day, I'm going to be giving for a living. 
The Bible said that, listen, God loveth a cheerful giver. And, and I, wait a minute, I'm, I'm getting ready to give now. I'm getting ready. He asking for money here. He, he's asking for some money, a bounty. I come to collect an offering, but he turns around and say, now with your giving, God is able to make all uh, your dollars in uh, your bank account. Anybody need some grace? Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Watch. Wait a minute. I, wait a minute. I've been, I'm, I'm just giving to give an offering here. But the church world has narrowed it down that if I give, I'm getting a house, I'm getting a car, I'm getting some money, I'm getting this. But, but he's getting me to tell you about something else that your money get me to produce. He said, my God, God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Lift your hand and say, I need all of it. Look base down there. He get me to make all grace abound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto every what? Wait a minute now. Now I'm getting all grace. Now I'm getting every good work. Lift your hand and say I want, I'm going I'm to start my, I want my works good. Because he's going to reward every man according to this what? works shall be. So by me giving he get me to cause me to have grace and not only is he going to give me grace but I'm getting me to get some good works. He going to put something upon me that's going to cause me to start doing good. You understand? I've been just giving money. I've been looking for a house a car but I'm getting me to get something going to make me do good. Say amen. And you got to understand you're going to reap what you sow if I sow good. Good stuff is getting me to come. He said grace going to abound. All make all grace abound toward us. And yea all having all sufficiency and all things may abound unto good works as it is written I have dispersed abroad uh -huh, and have given to the poor here's what wait a minute now now that he done told me uh, that all grace is going to abound then he told me uh, that, 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 that I'm going to have good works uh, but now he's telling me that I've above dispersed abroad uh, and I've given to the poor but he's not telling me about money here uh, he said now my righteousness uh, remaineth forever in other words something's going to stay with me why just because I'm giving because uh, I'm giving I'm giving to get all grace because uh, I'm giving I'm giving to get good works because uh, I'm giving I'm giving to have righteousness that's going to remain forever. Lift your hand if you want that righteousness to remain forever. I don't want nothing leaving me. Just through me giving, just through me giving, I'm talking about I'm giving to get grace. The Bible said, listen, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating, they were drinking, they were married, they were giving in marriage. And the Bible said that God promised I'm going to kill her. It repented me that I've ever made man. He said, what I'm giving to do, I'm giving to destroy man, woman, everything that's a living. But the Bible said Noah found grace. Noah found grace. Hallelujah in the sight of God. The Bible said listen in the last day I'm going to pour out upon the tabernacles of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. He said listen when sin abounds grace much more abounds. The Bible said what the word was made flesh. Watch this because through my giving all all grace shall abound toward us. All grace shall abound toward us. Through my giving, I get grace. The word was made flesh and the world among us and we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace. Y'all don't hear me. Only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. The Bible said these words of his fullness. Have we all received grace for grace? What did he say? The law came by Moses. But grace and truth came by Jesus. So through my giving, all grace abounds toward me but if grace is Jesus I said if grace is Jesus y'all don't understand I'm going to show you one of the greatest revelations huh? if grace is Jesus if grace is Jesus and he's going through my giving he's going to let all grace abound toward me I'm going to need more Jesus right now watch how it looks he said listen I'm giving to let, let, let all grace abound towards you then I'm going to give you good works there's no way that I can have good works because there's no good thing that dwells in there so that means when I give he got to give me something to give me good works and you don't understand hallelujah he was made sin for us 
cross and we may be made the righteousness of God through Christ he is my righteousness he is my sacrificial lamb y'all don't hear me but when me give when I give my offering he's getting me to give me grace that abounds and then he's getting me to give me good works and not only that but he's getting me to give me righteousness that remains forever all he's saying if you give me of your natural substance I'm getting me to send you my son you don't understand you think that I'm telling you when you pay your tithes and offer you think that I'm just going to give you a house a car some money you got to understand that the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to my dad the Bible said all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made all things are by him through him and for him what do you mean brother preacher I'm trying to show you everything belongs to my dad and what I'm trying to show you when I give my natural things to him what does he do he don't want to give me no natural stuff he want to give me something greater than that see that's the deceitful riches that's the kind of stuff to make you think you're rich but you ain't rich he became poor but you might become rich you might be thinking he left some money he left some gold he ain't leave that that wasn't what he left that wasn't what made him poor that means what he did he left the glory he left from walking around the throne he left from walking around the power and took on a human form and came down here stripped of all that power all that glory he became a human being he became a man y'all don't hear me just so you can get a right to the tree of life he came poor that you might become rich what rich I'm talking about the true riches of God I'm not talking about no money I'm talking about the true riches of God I'm talking about holiness I'm talking about the power I'm talking about peace of mind I'm talking about joy the fire I'm talking about being able to walk in a realm of total healing I'm talking about when the enemy come in he might touch you but he got to get his hands up off of you you understand what I'm saying the flu is killing folk but the flu got to fly and flew away come on say it when it comes to the saints we get ready to get the true I'm talking about the true riches the true riches I don't care what we go through I don't care what the, what the devil do the true riches I'm rich I'm rich I may not have a bunch of money I'm rich I may not live hallelujah in one of the biggest houses I'm rich I may not be driving a Rolls Royce but I'm rich I may not be able to go to Donald Trump's country club but I'm rich what are you saying I got that anointing I got that real Holy Ghost I got that peace of mind I got something that they don't have I got something that Walmart can't shelf I got something that JC Penney's can't stock I got something say man that they can't have on Wall Street only way you can get it it's got open up the windows of heaven and that grocery store that one shop stop that one stop shop called heaven I'm talking about that one stop shop called heaven that you can get your miracle your peace your joy your healing your deliverance your children your marriage that's right there in that Walmart in the sky come on if I pay my tithes and give my offers and just have give just have give I ain't got to give you no money give you a hug if I can give you a kiss if I can give you a kind word if I can just give you a hug, come on, say man. If I can just give you a hundred years, just my time. If I can give you a listening ear. If I can give you a shoulder to cry on. Y'all better hear me. Guess what God's forgiven to become? We're going to become G-I-V-E. I'm coming give. When you see me, it's give. It's give. How in the world can he preach down there and preach up here? Because I got that give on there. I got that give on there. And you don't understand. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said. Out of his belly shall what flow? Out of his belly shall what flow? Anything flow don't stop. Anything flow don't stop. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. I got something upon me. Hallelujah, my God. Even when I want to quit, it's want to kill. As long as I'm willing, as long as I'm yielding, it'll work through me. It'll come to me. That word will come out of me. There's somebody here today. You're sick. Some of you are troubled. If there's something coming out of me today, it's going to heal you. I'm sending my word and I'm gonna heal I'm sending my word I'm giving ah, ah, somebody's disease is getting ready to be cured somebody getting ready to be healed somebody's headache is now going away somebody's backache somebody's tiredness y'all better lift your hand I'm giving to give you something eternal life I'm giving to give you eternal life I'm giving to give you joy I'm giving to give you strength y'all better lift your hand I feel the glory
that you set up. This is what mess you up based on me. This is what mess you up about me. You look at me, right? This is what you do about me. You look at me and you say, how in the world based on me? This is what you do with me. You sit around and you look at me and something in you sets around and you say, how in the world can he do it? How in the world can he keep doing it? You got to understand what I'm doing. I'm not dealing with nothing dead. I'm not dealing with nothing dead. I'm dealing with a living word. See, y'all looking at the word, the written word, that dead letter. That's what y'all got. I'm reading it and seeing what other folk done done. Reading it and seeing what other folk done had. But I'm not reading it like that. I'm reading it and looking what I already got. I'm reading it and all it's telling me. When I read it, guess what it's telling me? It's telling me what I got on the inside. It's telling me what's inside of me. It's telling me this treasure that you have here in the earthen vessel. It's telling me, hallelujah, that the Jesus is living here. If you read how, what he did over 2,000 years ago, how he walked the muddy shores of Galilee, opened the eyes of the blind and set the captive free. When you read how that this man didn't fail, neither was he discouraged. When you read how, hallelujah, no matter what they done to her, he never said a mumbling word. When you read how he looked, how the Bible said, who for the joy that was set before him, hallelujah, endured the cross, despising the shame that is now set down on the right hand of the Father. When you read how this man took it, how this man went through, when you read how this man, hallelujah, people persecuted him, but he healed the sick and he raised the dead and he cast out devils. When you read how that this man, they done beat him, they done mess with him, they done hung him on a cross, but this same man was able while he was dying to look at a thief and say, this day shall you be with me in paradise. This man while he was dying, looked at some women and say, you daughters of Jerusalem, why weep you for me? Don't weep for me, weep for yourself and for your children. Come on, say man. This same man, after he died, hallelujah, the spirit went to hell. Hallelujah, got down in the hell. This same man, when the Bible said in hell, they be weeping and gnashing, they be cussing and gnashing their teeth. But this man went to hell, and while he was in hell, he preached, he preached, he preached good news. While he was in hell, he told the people, there's a God that can do anything but fail. While he was in hell, this same Jesus, hallelujah, preached for three days. And after three days, he rose with all power in heaven and earth. But guess what? This man lives in me. He lives in me. I'm talking about the hell shaker, the chain breaker. He lives in me. I'm not preaching a dead world. I'm preaching a living Jesus. I'm preaching a Jesus that can heal. That's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What are you saying, preacher? I'm telling you, huh? He didn't fail. Neither was he discouraged. But guess what? He lives. He lives. As I live by the Father. As I live by the Father. Even so shall you live by me. As I live by the Father. Even so shall you live by me. Huh? We would see Jesus. We want to see Jesus. He said, go tell them. He said, Jesus, the Greeks desire to see you. He said, I'll tell you what you do. They want to see me. But the common word is go tell them I'll see them in a minute. Or go tell them I can't see them. But this book went off in a metamorphosis. He went off some kind of theory. He said, listen, except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it had die, it will bring forth fruit. And that more abundantly. Wait, wait a minute, Jesus. They're saying that they want to see you. What they got to do with fruit? With a seed dying in the ground. He said, except the man then die himself. He cannot be my disciple. What do you mean? What are you saying? If a man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and imitate me and follow me. What are you saying? Why you keep telling us? Hallelujah. They just want to see. Why are you preaching to us? Because I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you what I am you going to be. What I'm trying to tell you. I'm limited right now in time and space and transportation. I'm only one man. And they can't, everybody can't see me. But when they put me in the ground, when they put me in the ground when they give me when they give me when they give me when they give me I'm trying to tell you you're going to reap what you sow when they give me hallelujah I'm going to multiply and guess what hallelujah they can't go kill this one me but you don't understand when they plant me in the ground 
if I'll be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw on men. What are you saying, Jesus? When they kill me, they can't kill me. The first Adam was a living soul. The last Adam was a quickening spirit. That's why you can't kill this. If you kill this, it'll come back again. It can't die. It can only multiply. Y'all better lift your hand. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, watch this. You can't kill this. You can't kill this. It'll only multiply. So what he's saying, I'm telling you, I got to die, but if I die, more people die. that's coming to seed. Every seed should bring forth of its kind. Every seed should bring forth of its kind. So when I plant it in the ground, hallelujah, you think just one of me, they can't see me. They can't see me. But it's expedient that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, cannot come. The Father cannot send it, except I go away. But if I go away, he's going to send you back another comforter. Even the spirit of truth from the world cannot receive it. Guess what? And at that day, you're going to know that I'm in the Father. And the Father in me, and I am in you. See, I'm telling you, he said, listen, greater works than these shall you do. Because I'm going to my, wait a minute, greater works than these shall you do. Because why? Because I'm going back to my father and you don't see me no more. And my father is greater than I. See, you don't understand. Right now I'm in a body. But if I go back to my daddy, if I go back to my daddy, greater works than these said you do. Because I'm only limited here. But if I go back to my father, hallelujah, you'll do greater works. Somebody said you're going to do greater works than Jesus. It's impossible. You can't do greater works than him because the works is him. What must I do to do the works of the father? He said, believe on me because you can't do them without me. Whatever you do is him. It's not I but the Christ that lives within me. Only reason you're doing greater works because now I'm going back to my father and when I get back to my father, ain't no limit. Hallelujah. That day you'll know I'm in the father, the father in me and I am in you. Y'all better hear me. I don't know. I may not be registered with some of y'all but y'all give me the walk in the real. You give me the walk in healer. You give me the walk in deliverance. I'm telling you when sickness comes, you give me to start telling God, what should I do? Some tried to hit me but just before I came to church. He told me, tap your heart four times. I did what he said and went off in the sleep and he woke me up. Come on, say man and look at me now. I'm trying to show you that some people get me to come forward that's going to have the spoken word. The testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. There's some people get me to prophesy. I don't want y'all to have miracles. I don't want y'all to lay hands. You know what I want all y'all to do? I want all y'all to prophesy. I want all y'all to prophesy. It ain't a man thing. It's a church thing. Hallelujah. Women can prophesy. Men can prophesy. What do you mean? Speak my word and I'll confirm my word with signs and wonders. Speak my word. Learn my word. I'll heal you. Learn my word. I'll deliver you. Learn my word. I'll cast out devils. Learn my word. And the Bible said, 10th verse. Is this any good? Yeah. Now, he said, ninth verse, as it is written, he has dispersed the raw and have given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth for what? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Look at somebody say, now, he that ministereth seed to who? That's why you broke bookers ain't going to get nothing. You ain't going to get nothing. And I'm not talking about money. He said, he said, what so? God's not mock whatsoever man what? He didn't have no money in there. He said, whatsoever. So that means whatever good thing that can be sold, I'm going to only give it to the who? That's why some of you right now don't have no joy, no peace. And why you don't have no strength. Because you ain't willing to give your strength to nobody. You ain't ready to give your joy to nobody. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't willing to give, you understand, your wisdom to nobody. When I was setting up young in the ministry, I used to go to them old preachers and say, man, you give me some wisdom. Ah, oh, doc, you need to join with me. If you ain't going to join with me, doc, I can't give you no wisdom. I said, it's okay. I made a vow to God. 
I said, if you ever forget me, wisdom. I said, God, it don't make no book difference in a book as a Catholic or Jehovah Witness or how to increase it. I said, book, ask me for some wisdom. I'm going to pull him over the side and say, let me give you some wisdom. Hallelujah. You know me now. I'll pull you to the side and say, let me give you some wisdom. Come on, say amen. I'll do it right now. Let me give you some wisdom. What do you mean? Because they didn't want to give it to me. I want to give it to you. But guess what happens? See, I tell folks, y'all be wanting to hide your cords and don't want nobody to see how you play. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. But see, the more you give, the more I'm going to give you to give. I give seed to the sower. You understand the reason that you, amen, always coming up with something new. Every time I see you in any church, you got some little boy, some somebody over there. You teaching them how to play a guitar. You giving them. And guess what? You're getting more. Well, I'm steady giving this word. And every time you look around, I got another word. I got another revelation. I got another know it. I got some more code. Every time I give you something, you say, my God, he done gave out. Now I just got empty. Hallelujah. But see, you can't get no fresh stuff until you get empty. Come on, say man. That's what's wrong with y'all. He ain't gonna give you a cookie if you got one in your hand. He'll tell you to eat the one you got. Well, I done ate it up. I done gave it out. I ain't got no more cookies. So give me some more cookies. Come on, say man. Some of y'all in here get ready to get some Holy Ghost cookies. But you done ate them up. You done gave them away. God's gonna give y'all some Holy Ghost cookies. So let to get ready to get a fresh anointing. Get ready to get a fresh wisdom. Get ready to get a fresh glory. Y'all get ready to get fresh healing. Y'all get ready to get fresh power. Fresh power. Y'all better lift your hand. I saw a fresh anointing. I'm empty. He gives seed to the soul. I ain't giving nothing to you stingy boogers. And while you in the same rut, driving the same car, wearing the same clothes with the same hairstyle and the same honey bun. You've had that honey bun since ninth grade. Ain't no fresh anointing. You know how come they had, to, when they prayed, God, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. They was the same people that got filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. Well, how in the world did they have to get filled again? Because they were somewhere and gave what they had away. So they had to go get some more. Lift, and lift your hand and say, one feeling, but many refills. Say, one feeling. But many refills. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. Hallelujah. They got some places. Hallelujah. You got free refill down with that. There's some places you go to eat. They got free refills. Come on, say amen. Hallelujah. Just just drink to your to your bus. Come on, say amen. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you tonight. Hallelujah. God is getting to move. He's giving to give seed to the soul. And he ain't talking about money. He's talking about love. Every think about everything you give. Think about everything you give. If it's a kind word, you're going to get more kind words. If it's, a, if it's giving somebody your shoulder to lean on, lift your hand, he's going to give you some strong shoulder. Come on, if you're giving you a listening ear, he's going to give you ear to be able to take what other folks are saying without you repeating it, without you telling them. Come on, say man. Because if it's too heavy for them, hallelujah, you're going to need a good ear. Lift your hand and say, God, give it to give me a listening ear. Some of y'all right now, hallelujah, you ain't got nothing but talent. Some of y'all ain't got talent. But guess what? God gonna do that. He able to give you more talent. Hallelujah. Whatever you give to God, whatever you give to God, He able to give you more. Say man, I'm giving to refill y'all. Some of y'all sitting around now, wonder why you ain't got nothing. Wonder why every time you look around, you see Brother McCoy. Every chance I get, sometimes I ain't got nothing. I gave it away or put it in the building fund or put it out in the land. And sometimes I come to church, everybody thinking I'm rich, but I've been giving it away. I've been giving it away. You looking at me? He always got money now. The word can't lie. The word can't lie. The word can't lie. You give seed to the soul. Hallelujah. My barrel may get a little empty, but it don't never run dry. Come on, say man. It may get a little empty, but it never run dry. I still got oil in the cruiser. I still got a little meal in the barrel. Y'all better lift your hand. God know how to multiply your two little fishes and your five loaves of bread. Just give. Just give. You understand? I believe the little boy that had a sack lunch didn't have a sack lunch after Jesus got finished. I believe the little boy that gave a sack lunch didn't get a sack lunch back. I believe the little boy was able to feed some folks when he got finished. When Jesus took up the 12 fragments 
The Bible said the wicked bar and pay up not again. The Bible said the wicked bar and pay up not again. So if Jesus borrowed the two fishes and five loaves of bread, and if he wouldn't have paid the young boy back, he'd have been wicked. Y'all better hear me. So God don't never give you back what you gave. He always gives you more. <laughs> so the little boy didn't go home with two fishes. He didn't go home with two, five loaves of bread. I believe that book of King went home with a knapsack looking like Santa Claus. Come on, shine. Y'all better get ready. God give it to fill your knapsack. God give it to fill. I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all give it to get a refill. Somebody get me to get stirred. Somebody get me to get pressed. Y'all better get a happy face when it come to giving. Get happy. Get happy. Don't worry. Get happy. Hallelujah. Sit down. Sit down. I'm almost through. Baby. He said, is this good? Is this good? Is it? Sound like the Arnold sisters. <laughs> is it? <laughs> We're going to be like confused. Are they from New Orleans? <laughs> is it good? Pardon me. <laughs> We're from London. <laughs> it's my girls. <laughs> The Bible said in the 10th verse, he that ministereth, look at somebody say ministereth. Now, now I'm not talking about come and pay your tithes and don't pay your tithes till next year. Look at somebody say ministereth. To minister means to give. F means to continue. He that ministereth. He that ministereth seed to the who? That means he's constantly giving seed to the who? So that means if he's constantly giving seed to the sower, then the sower got to keep on. <laughs> oh, because if he don't keep on giving, then he won't get no minister rap. Look at somebody said, are oh, you getting minister rap? You ain't been minister rapid in a long time, have you? <laughs> have you been minister rapid? The Bible said, he that ministers seed to the sower, both. Now, wait a minute. I hear this now. I'm not trying to tell you to give everything and that just for you outdoors. I'm giving it to you for two reasons. I'm going to give it to you where you can pay your bills, put some food in your icebox, pay your car note, do the stuff that you need to do. But now, I'm giving it to do something for you. <clears throat> he said, both minister bread for your food and give you your seed. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now, wait a minute now, wait a minute now. Oh, wait, um, you just sowing a seed, but I'm only giving seed to, I'm only giving seed to the sower. He didn't say seeds. He said, I'm giving seed to the sower. Both minister bread to the sower, both minister bread for food and multiply your See, wait a minute, what? See. Wait a minute, I ain't give you but one. I ain't give you but one. But I'm trying to show you the art. See, you don't want to give it, then you don't have but one. But if you give it, you can multiply. See, the reason y'all ain't got nothing because you won't take the seed. The Bible said, he went about weeping, crying, bearing precious seed. He didn't have but one seed. But he went crying. Sister, remember, because this is all I got. This is all I got, Lord. Please, Jesus. Please, Jesus. This is all I got. But I'm willing to sow that. But surely, without a doubt, he came back in, bringing in the sheaves. Rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves. We used to sing this, so we shall come rejoicing. Bringing in the sheaves. Anybody, ain't nobody can't sing that song no more, huh? The boogers ain't bringing in no sheaves now, stingy self. You ain't got no sheaves. But the Bible said, multiply your seed song. Wait. And increase your finances. 
the fruits of what? Now he ain't told me nothing about no money here. It's been grace. It's been good works. It's been righteousness. Now he gonna multiply the fruits of my righteousness. Just through what? Giving. Why some of you right now, you think you're smart because you don't want to give you think you're smart because you won't walk out of here. You don't want to give nobody no hook. You holding them down. You don't want no demons on you because you ain't got no Holy Ghost. If you got a Holy Ghost, the book of got a demon. If the book of got a demon on them, give them a hug because if greater is he that is in you, a hug will knock the devil off of them. Say, man, I'll be the priest and I'll be tired and we, I'll hug all y'all. Say, man, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Come on, say, man. Oh, hug them. They'll rub something. Jump on you. Jump on you. Let it jump because if it jump, it's got to jump back on because once it feel that fire, that Holy Ghost, hallelujah. You know what the fire of the Holy Ghost does? It gives the devil a taste of what he's getting ready to get before he get there. So he don't want to fool with me because I'm going to give him a touch of what he's going to get before he get there. I'm going to put that fire on that devil. Come on. Hallelujah. I ain't afraid. Y'all listen. Somebody say, give you. No, you sitting around. On my money. No, you boogers watch. Watch. I told you to keep watching me. I keep joy. Keep health. Keep strength. Keep the blessings of God flowing. Keep the favor of God. Say amen. amen. Anytime somebody take and say, I'm going to buy you a car. Amen. I'm talking about a $50,000 car. Amen. Now that's what you call. Amen. Say it. Amen. Say it. Amen. But you think it just came because I'm just here? No. They ain't giving it because I got money. They giving it because I got some stuff that I can give them, like righteousness and grace and and and, 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 and fruits, you see. Because folk don't care nothing about folk. Folk got money, but they want to give it to somebody. They can. They, they don't need no money. They just need some fruit. They need some real riches. Some of y'all don't hear me. When that glory come, kings are getting ready to come to the brightness of you. Wait a minute. I'm going to show you tonight. You bookers don't want to give. And the Bible said to increase the fruits of your righteousness. Being, now watch this here. Watch this here. Sister B, those of you, y'all have been to science before. Anybody ever been to science class? Anybody ever been to science? You ain't been to school. <laughs> watch sci fi flickers of you. ain't been no science, man. <laughs> By the time we got to science, you quit, didn't you? But being in rich, 11th verse, in everything to all bountifulness. In other words, I'm going to be enriched in everything. Which causes through us what? Wait, now through my giving, I get grace. Through my giving, I get good works. Through my giving, I get righteousness. Through my giving, I get seed multiplied. Through my giving, I get the fruits of my righteousness, now I get to get something through my giving that he really loves. God lives in what? Praises. He loves praises. He inhabits the praises of the saints. So when I give folks stuff, first thing they say is, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So what happens? He loves praises. So when I'm able to give stuff to people, then they go to praising God. So they got... God love praise. So every time I give somebody something, they're going to thank God. So God say, if you'll just keep giving it to them, hallelujah, and they'll keep praising me, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep giving you stuff to give to people so they can keep on praising them. That's what I do. I keep on giving them. So when I give it, they say, thank you, Jesus. God said, I'm giving him something else. Get that boy something else. I love these praises. Get that boy something else. Get that boy something else. Hallelujah, give him some strength. Let him go to Bogalusa. Let him go to, let him give him something. Give him, let him go to Moss Point. Come on, give him something. Hallelujah, give him something. Come on, say man. Give him something. Come on, give him something. Because when he gets finished, hallelujah, folk are lifting up their hand and give him.
give him be praise. Get a boy some more now. Get a boy some more power. Get a boy some more healing. Get a boy some more grace. Get a boy some more knowing. Because every time it gets finished, somebody walking out here said, Hallelujah. Get a boy some more glory. Come on. I'm getting more praise. I'm getting more glory. I'm getting more ah! Now we're going to science class, Sister Tan. <laughs> Being enriched in, every, in, in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. But the administration of this service not only supplies the wants of the saints, but it's abundant also in many. Y'all ready to go to science? Whilst by, whilst by this experience, experiment. <laughs> Look at somebody said it's called an experiment. <laughs> it's called an experiment. You take vinegar and soda in it. <laughs> I don't hear me. Look at somebody say an experiment. A combustible reaction. Chemical reaction. A chemical reaction. When I give to people, it reacts and makes them say, thank you, Jesus. And when it makes them give to praise in God, then it sends back another supper. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. I'm going to show you in a minute. I got to hurry. I got to I got to hurry. Mm. He said this. Did something to do with it. He said, for this administration, wait on me, for this administration of this service, not only supplies the wants of the saints, but about is abundant also in many thanksgivings unto God. Whilst by the experiment of this ministration, they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ and for your liberal distribution unto all. Unto them and to all men. Lift your hands and say, lift your hands and say this. This is this experiment. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless it. Watch this here. I ain't got a few seconds. I got a few seconds. It's good already, eh? But y'all got to hear me right now. I'm gonna show you something. I don't use no Texas. But if I was to use a Texas, how about a Louisiana? <laughs> If I was using a text, I would use a text say, and when they gave. Lift your hand and say, when they gave. Now, children of God, now watch this here. The old books of the Bible were written for your insight, for your admonition, for your learning. Now, watch this here. The Bible said that there was a prophet. Now, remember, a prophet is a spoken mouthpiece of God. He told us, believe on the Lord, and so shall you be established. Believe on his prophet, and so shall you prosper. Now, prosper means to break out, breakthrough, come forth with force. Now, watch the wisdom here, and to be able to be victorious. He said, believe on the prophet, and so shall you prosper. Well, here it was now. God had spoke to a prophet by the name of Elijah. He said, go to Ahab, a backslidden king, and tell him him that I'm going to shut up the heavens that it give no rain nor do for the space of three and a half years. But I want you to know I mean space of three years. But I want you to know that Elijah came unto Ahab and said as the Lord thy God standeth living before whom I stand. He said the heavens shall shut up and give no rain nor do for the space of three years. Hallelujah and God where there's no rain it causes a dearth in the land and where there's a dearth there's no vegetation and where there's no vegetation you understand where there's no water, there's no life. So stuff stopped growing and they kind of drowned in a famine in the land. Well, here was a little woman. God had told Elijah, he said, now listen, I'm sending the drought. Now lift your hand and say, God going to take care of his people. He spoke to Elijah and he said, now go over to the book of, 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 of Cherith. Go down to the book of Cherith, which is beyond Zidon. And he said, I've commanded a raven to feed thee there. And when he got there, hallelujah, God caused a black bird. Now these these are ravenous birds. They eat 
flesh. So they don't bring flesh, but they eat flesh. He let a black bird bring in flesh and bread morning and noon. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. But after a while, the brook dried up and there was no water. And the black bird stopped flying. Lift your hand and say, God, I'll put you in a position for a miracle. All you got to do is be a giver. And all of a sudden, God spoke to him. He said, I want you to go down to Zarephath. He said, there's a little woman down there that I've commanded to sustain thee there. Now, the black bird was only to feed. Feed mean it could, it could happen and stop. But sustain me. She's going to hold you until the, until the, uh, the, uh, the, the drought and the, and, the, and, the, and the dirt pass over. She's going to sustain you. In other words, she's going to hold you until this is all over. But when he got down the Zarephath, there was a little bitty widow woman with a little boy. And she was picking up two sticks. And she was gathering her. He said, woman, I pray thee, go get me a vessel of water. She said, wait a minute. She said, yeah, but she said, I'll, I'll tell you what, go get me a morsel of bread. Give me a morsel of bread. She said, listen. She said, she said, as, uh, as the Lord thy God liveth before whom I stand, I have not but a little meal in the barrel, a little oil in the cruiser these two sticks together that me and my son might eat it and die. I don't even have a cake but Elijah looked at the woman and said go and do as I say but make me a cake first. But look at the woman. Now look at this woman in her dire straits. This woman said we were going to eat it and die. Can you imagine? Can you imagine little Stevie? You understand? I'm coming and I'm telling you and you don't have but enough for you and Stevie but I'm telling you woman make me a cake first. Now you got to be a bad somebody to be able to look at little Steve and then look at your condition and then look at me hallelujah my he wasn't no skinny man he probably wasn't no skinny man y'all better hear me what I'm saying but she looking at him don't you know that woman had to really have some kind of faith that woman looked at Jesus he said woman make me a cake first he said for thus saith the Lord he said for her he said for listen the meal bow shall not fail nor the oil on the cruise waste you understand the meal bow shall not waste nor the oil of cruise fail until the Lord send rain and the woman went to the meal barrel he said make me a cake first and the woman made the man of God a cake first hallelujah but when she went back the Bible said there was a little meal in the barrel a little oil in the cruise and the Bible says say she and he and her son she and he and her son it did put a son after the man of God she and he and her son ate meal they ate for what many days they ate until the flood until the until God sent rain. What do you mean? Now watch. Watch this. Hallelujah. Now watch. She, in order for her to feed the man of God. The man of God, there was a dearth in the land. And so long as she was given to the Lord, long as she was given to the man of God, he stayed in her presence. Long as she was given to the man of God, she stay, he stayed in her presence. He was right there. You understand? Long as you're feeding God, long as you're giving God what he wanted, he'll stay right there with you. Y'all better hear me and so long as she was feeding Elijah he didn't have to go nowhere he didn't even want to go nowhere cause wasn't no food nowhere so long as the woman was given it kept the anointing in the house as long as the woman was given it kept the anointing in the house but one day a woman's son hallelujah fell dead y'all better hear me what I'm saying and the woman went to the prophet and said you done brought this evil upon me and I killed my son what, what have I done to you he said woman where the boy at and the Bible says he's upstairs but well, guess what? He was feeding the anointing. And the anointing went upstairs. Hallelujah. And stretched the little boy out. Hallelujah. And he laid on top of the little boy. And he said, God, you ain't brought no judgment upon this woman. You wouldn't bring me to a house to tell the house. Lord, let this boy spirit call. God do it. Hallelujah. He kept on praying. All of a sudden, that boy stood up. Hallelujah. He took him back downstairs and gave the boy to, back to his mama. And the woman looked and said, Now, I know that thought the man of God. Come on, wait a minute. If she'd have stopped giving and her son would have died, he'd have been a dead baby. But by her giving, she kept anointing in the house. Because y'all don't hear me. Some of y'all don't know it. If you give, I'm going to keep the anointing in your house. And when your children get in trouble, I'm giving a set of blessing. Y'all better hear me. When your children get messed up, I got an anointing in your house. Keep on giving. Some of y'all don't know it. You done got a spirit on you and don't want you to give. And why the devil don't want you to give? He don't want you to have no righteousness. He don't want you
want you with no grace. That's another, yeah. He don't want you with no grace. He don't want you. Hallelujah to cause nobody to give God praise. He don't want you to do it. He, uh, he don't want you to get none of them benefits. He don't want you to get your seed multiplied. He don't want you to walk in a meal. Y'all don't hear me? He don't want you to be a part of the experiment. He wants you to set them out. How about a devil fight us in this church? And every church about giving. A church world that messed us up. And coming up with this prosperity stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm talking about the true riches. I'm talking about when you give. I'm going to cause the anointing. When you give. I'm going to put some upon you. That woman gave. And God sent that woman a blessing. That woman kept a blessing in the house. As long as she kept feeding that man of God. She fed the mouthpiece. She felt the glory. She fed that anointed. She fed the power of God. And long as she kept the power in the house. When anything happened. That power had to help her. That power had to deliver her. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. I done told y'all will a man rob God. But you have robbed me. In tithes and an offering. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. I done told you. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. That there might be meat in my house. And he said approve me. Try me. Try me. You said up there scared to pay your tithes. Because you scared of your bills. Uh-uh. You showing me that you don't, you don't trust me. And I done told you. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. I told you. He that believeth not shall be damned. I told you. That the fearful and the unbeliever shall have their part in the lake of fire. I told you. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. And whose hope the Lord is. I told you. Without faith it's impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. I told you. That you got to have faith as a grain of mustard seed. I told you that if you walk in the light of this world, you should not see death. I told you when you don't pay your tithes, you saying I'm Pee Wee Herman, I'm Mickey Mouse. Don't you pay your car note? Don't you pay your house note? You pay me first, and when you pay me first, I step on the scene like a healing machine. Cause I can't lie. Cause I can't lie. My word is forever settled in the heaven. I told you, prove me here with now. Prove me here with now and guess what I'm going to do guess what I'm going to do I'm going to open you the windows of heaven guess what read read there will be a day there will be a day that you're going to see the heavens open you're going to see the heavens open and the, and the angels of God you understand or the, the ascending descending upon the son of man what do you mean hallelujah when heaven open up what did John say I saw the heavens open and the spirit of God descended from heaven in a bodily shape like as of a dove what happens when heaven Heavens open up. When the heaven open up, the glory comes. When the heaven open up, God comes in. When the heaven open, angels step down. Some of y'all don't understand. You because ain't doing nothing to get heaven open. But I'm giving now for heaven's sake. I'm not paying my tithes to get no car. I'm not paying my tithes. I'm paying my tithes so heaven can open. And guess what he gonna do? He gonna do what he always do. He gonna open the windows of heaven and pull you out. A. Hey, you don't need them, those, and they. You don't need but A. Hey, if I send you a blessing. You ain't going to have room enough to receive it. You ain't going to be able to get enough of it. And it ain't a house. It ain't a car. It ain't a money. It ain't a CD. It ain't none of that. It ain't nothing but me. I'm going to pull you out me. And when you get me, you'll get your money. Because guess what? The earth and the fullness that all belongs to me. The cattle upon a thousand hill belong to me. All the gold belongs to me. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. And when you get me, then me can go and tell the devil, give me my stuff. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. Y'all I'm gonna give me coming down. Me is coming down. And I'm giving to get my stuff. Hallelujah. Me that owns everything. I own it all. I let the devil have the money just to lend it to him. Just like Jesus. He gave the money back to Judas. But it wasn't his. That belonged to Jesus. So when Jesus come, he gonna get the money back. Back from the devil. And give it to the saints. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the saints. Y'all better get ready. God in Christ. Christ in us. God in Christ. Christ in us. I'm looking for the Holy Ghost. I'm looking for the power. I'm looking for Jesus. I'm looking for an anointing. I'm looking for some going to heal me. Some going to bless me. Some going to deliver me. Some going to set me free. Y'all better lift your hand. I feel a glow. I'm going to open the windows of heaven. And I'm giving to pull you out. I'm pulling you out. A blessing you ain't got room enough to receive. I'm giving to do it for you. You ain't seen nothing. 
You will sit around here scared to give, don't want to give, or let a bunch of demons try to talk you out of giving, telling y'all you'll give too much. No, devil, you trying to stop me from living. You trying to tell me what that brother trying to beat me out my money. You can't be the child of God, but the child of God, holler, you ain't giving. Holler, you out of necessity. Ain't giving grudging. Ain't giving from their heart. You think you done beat them, don't you? They only gave it to you because they love you. They only gave it to you because they saw a need. They only gave it to her. Even if you don't pay them back, he told us. If they borrow, don't even look for it. What you mean don't look for it? Well, don't worry about what they owe you. Because if you give it to her, if you can lend it, you can give it. If you can lend it, you can give it. If you can lend it, you can give it. If you can lend it, you can give it. Because if you couldn't have lend it, if you couldn't have lend it, then you couldn't have gave it. Y'all don't hear me? I said if you couldn't have gave it, you couldn't have lend it to her. If you couldn't have gave it to her, you couldn't have lent it to her. Because if you didn't have it, you couldn't have gave it. So if you could lend it, you could give it to her. So if you could give it to him, let it go. Because guess what? I don't care if you lend it. I don't care if you give it. I'm going to restore you. I'm going to give you a blessing you ain't never received. Y'all better hear me what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. If they don't pay you back, either give it to the poor, lend it to the Lord, and God shall repay you. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to deliver you from the hands of your enemy. And guess what I'm going to do? Hallelujah. I'm going to strengthen you on your bed of languishing. And guess what else? I'm going to make your bed up in the time of sickness. I'm going to bring deliverance to you. Some of y'all right now, and why some of y'all can't stay sick, but some of y'all such a giver. And if you done gave people, all of you made them happy. It's your turn. Y'all to lift somebody up. What somebody said, my turn. My turn. I done helped other folk. I done blessed other folk. And so, watch it. I'm trying to tell y'all, look at the years I done put in. Look at the years I done gave. Look at the years I that helped other folks. Look at the years I done helped other folks' children. Look at the years I done helped other people. And it's almost my time. God give it a bless me. It's my time. God give it a move for me. It's my time.